a good one? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah, baby. Okay, now watch your anchor rope. Be my teener, baby. I can't even start reeling yet. What can't you do? I can't. Well, I'm here with Captain Kostek here from ZeroLimitFishing.com and we think he might have his first 10 pounder of his lifetime on here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I might have to pull the anchor ropes and now when he jumps I want you to make sure that you don't let the line get slack in it but yet don't pull. Just keep my rod tip down in the water. Huh? Keep my rod tip You can let him it. come up and talk to you so you can see uh, what you got going He'll spit the hook there. with my look, bud. I hope it's what we're looking for. I think it is. It's definitely bigger than anything I've caught, by the way I feel. It's now he's going to really dog you once he gets around the boat. So He's coming in. I'll uh, let go of the anchor lines. Or whatever I have to do. Or if you have, if it's an emergency, hand me the rod and I'll get him around this anchor up here. Here he goes again. I've never seen John fight a bass this long. What's going on here? I'm enjoying the moment. Uh-oh, here we go. We're going to talk. Oh, we're not talking. Uh, I'll put the camera on my buddy here. Mr. AT&T. On my sick day, baby. That's right. <laughs> You're going to see this on YouTube. Not for a couple days. Remember, pay attention to that anchor. That's so important. You're fine. Keep the line tight so you know whether you got to go under it or not, and just make sure you try to steer him, you know, in the right direction. How come it didn't take you long this long to get yours in? Yeah, you want to keep him above it if you can. You're okay. Point the line at him though, so you know where your angle is going to be going. That way you can hold the rod up and let him go over the top. Remember, if you feel something squeaky, he's under it. If I feel something squeaky, what do I do? Huh? What do I do if I feel something squeaky? Okay, is he under it? I don't know yet. Just hold your rod down. Okay. And don't pull when he's running. Okay, now lift up and see if he is under it. Okay, he is. Okay, now what you want to do is just slide your rod, put it in the water and get it right underneath and just keep a bend in the rod. Don't let slack in it. Okay, wind down and you're going to have to put the whole rod in the water. Can't tell how big he is. I see a lot of color. Nice one. Ooh, baby. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Oh, my God, he's got Yes! It. <laughs> <laughs> Take your fish out. Woo! There's Captain Kistek with his first double digit. He may, yeah, have, baby. he may have got to the teener mark right there. Woo! Nice job. Woo! Very good. Thank you, sir. You get to unhook it. I want to thank Butch Brown for this, baby. That's it, man. ZeroLimitFishing.com. On the anchor. Where's it at? Okay, let me show you now. All right. You're going to love this. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Dude. Are we on? All right, here we are back at ZeroFishingLimit.com. At ZeroLimitFishing.com. And this is how we do it. <laughs> That's how you do it right there. Big bass. You're going to yeah. see them swim away and live, and that's what it's all about. The Captain Kistaic here, a.k.a. John. <laughs> There's his big one. one right there. That's my big boy going in the water. Going back. That's it. She's happy. There she goes. Gone. Now she died, right? Down, down, down. Next. Next, one of the little ones of the day. There we it's go. Five, six pounder. All happy. Another happy fish. Ow. A 
another big one of the day. Sweet. Which brown style. Looks like something from Monster Fishing. And one Our day more. is almost complete. That's it. Yeah. Five fish limit. Zero limit. Probably around 40 pounds, if not more. Thank you, Butch. Under the boat. See you later, Doctor. <laughs> Zero limit fishing. Dot com. <laughs>